Okay, I want to welcome everybody once again. Welcome to another video here. Uh, in this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about my recent success. I've, um, yeah, as such, I've finished making my uh, 3D rough, okay, rough 3D cartoon project um, animation that I was making in Blender with uh, also some of the work being done with other softwares too but it was a 3D um, rough simple 3D animated cartoon project I made in Blender and I took a lot of time to make that <laughs> I mean I mean, I did put a lot of time behind the scenes too into making like various 3D models and things too as you know as you would have seen on my channel a lot of Blender models and things that I was making through the course of studying Blender and practicing how to use Blender and modeling and sculpting and stuff and then uh, you know and just learning as well I've been watching a lot of videos as well recently about Blender and how to use it so as you know you know I've been doing that because I've not I've never really been into especially Blender but I've never really been into any like 3D um, I've used like you know SketchUp and stuff a little bit but it's like quite a lot but it's like I've never really been into like making any 3D animation or any 3D projects. I've really learned so, but uh, excuse me, uh, that much about it. I've I've mainly been into 2D. And I still am. I prefer 2D, you know, art and animation. Um, and I'm going to be doing a lot more 2D. Okay, it doesn't mean that I won't do any more 3D. I will be doing some, but it's like, of course. But I I like to do um, 2D animation. Yeah. I feel <coughs> I feel three <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I do feel yeah, I do feel yeah that um three D can help sometimes with sometimes with setups for um two D animated cartoons sometimes. I'll say that. I will say that, but um I'm just saying though, you know, like uh whatever man. Yeah. So I'm planning a lot of things, okay, I'm planning, um, I will do more 3D when I can, I've just finished this 3D one, um, uh, latest one, um, I'm going to, as I say, I will be doing some more art videos in general, like some drawing and painting, digital, just art or video, just having some fun as well, hope you guys enjoy those, yeah, um, yeah, so, yeah, and that, you know, and, um, I want to say on that, yeah, so, uh, you know, there's also, other things uh, like making games and stuff, like making some games, uh, like new 2D type RPG Zelda type games, old school. I'm thinking to make a game actually. I'm I've been making. I've been thinking about that for a while, but it's still on hold. Pretty much so. More than that, is I'm going to put it on the side. I'll have to come up with some of some ideas, come up with some ideas, and think and work it all out. You know, at some stage. But um, immediately though, my next plans right now are just to work on a lot more. Um, 2D as I say art in general drawing and painting and 2D animation <clears throat> and I've already started working on my next 2D animated project I haven't done any of the art for it yet but I've done planning for scenes and I'm, I'm just trying to get some ideas around it I'm not too sure if I'm even going to use the one that I've actually planned now I may even type and do something different I'm not too sure but I'm coming up with ideas I'm typing up I'm going to do some rotoscoping as I said and see what I can do with that and I, when I say rotoscoping I don't mean because rotoscoping means drawing over video clips and video frames the actual photo uh, frames from actual video footage okay like to get the art <coughs> but there's different ways you can do it you can draw like um, exactly what you see there in terms of the people in the videos and the backgrounds and everything which is not what I'm doing. I don't want to do that. I'm just trying to do it for an experiment because I've seen some good stuff done that people have done in their homes, and I've actually seen good stuff, the actual p real projects that have been made, like animated shows and s even some anime stuff that people have done where they've actually used this method where they've drawn over video footage to get the perfect flowing mo movements, <coughs> you know, of the characters <coughs> and um it's just pretty, it looks really good, and um, you know, I just think it's a good thing, I think, I, I'd like to have a go, and, but the thing is, you don't have to draw the characters to to be exactly like what's in the video, 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I will be drawing my own characters, of course, like designing my own characters, and of course the worlds, the backgrounds, and the scenery and everything. But it's just to get those movements, you know. I'd like to do that and challenge myself. I'm going to use some like video footage, some of that footage maybe my own, um, some of that maybe stuff I find online, whatever. But it's like whatever that's going to fit the scenes that I'm typing up in a list, like for my scripts, you know. So just typing the idea up, the basic story, then finding the clips online and then making clips by myself too if need be, like certain specific martial art movements and or whatever it may be. Yeah, and then, um, you know, and then, yeah, just, uh, yeah, drawing it all out, you know. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm really excited about that, actually, I really am. The only thing is I've written this first little script and I'm thinking to do a new, different one. So we'll see, okay. Um, <coughs> anyway, let's get back to what I was saying, though. So this uh, 3D animated show, uh, Brock Ruthless. My God. <laughs> uh, it's not for the faint-hearted, I'll say that. I mean, so <laughs> It's definitely for a mature, a mature, a mi- mature audience that may be slightly immature in their <laughs> sense of humour. You know, that's what I mean. It's just for mature audiences, can take a joke. You know, uh, it's, it's, I mean, violence. It's got a lot of violence in it. It's a short. It's a short 3D cartoon I've made. It's a Brock ruthless, very rough, very roughly done, as you'll see. But hopefully, you're still have a laugh at what I've done and hopefully you'll enjoy it because it did take me a lot of effort and work in between work and my free time you know to get that thing done I'm so happy I got it out of the way I really am it was going to be even more detailed and stuff a lot of scenes were cut from it that I was do- I was going to do I ran into a lot of technical issues and I just ended up making it a rough one you know um but um yeah there's a graphic ending to it I'll tell you that action scene and uh, wow it turned out better than I thought it would the action scene <laughs> but, uh, damn I hope it doesn't make you laugh word of warning if you've not if you've not seen Brock Ruthless yet episode 1 then, uh, yeah so I don't know when I'll do episode 2 I'm not too sure when and that uh, but you know it's, it's on it's on the rocks but, <laughs> but on the bridge but what I'm going to say is you know, the thing is um, you know that, yeah the thing is yeah like um, yeah don't be drinking any tea or anything when you're watching it, okay? Because you may end up spitting your tea out, choking and laughing. Because it's kind of crazy. Or it may just shock you. <laughs> it's a bit of fun, man. This guy is a contender for Rambo, I tell you. Um, but yeah, um, so I'm happy it's finally up, though. Uh, Brock Roof. This is a kind of, I don't know, action slash sci-fi type weird thing, you know, um, with some comedy in there, and extreme martial arts violence, uh, with weapons, uh, say, remember, do avoid violence, don't, do fucking not, okay, do not try to recreate anything you've seen in that show, and don't carry knives around, I'm, I'm totally against anyone who carries knives around, the idea of that, I mean, um, in public, okay, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so, um, whatever. <laughs> no, no. But, uh, yeah, um, it's all good. It's all good, man. It's all good, you feel me? Uh, so, what am I going to say to you now? What am I going to say now? So, just looking here at my. Oh wow, this is cool. I've got lots of my old animated shows here, animated cartoons that I've done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this together with all of my old cartoons. Wow, that's cool. Didn't realise I had all of them here. Wow. Put them all in this folder together here. Yeah, you know. Um, so yeah, as I say, um, that's what's coming up. Okay, a lot more... Um, 2D cartoons basically um, Jason Stork if you're watching Mountain of Sakima bro um, yeah I'll be doing another episode of um, you know as I say when I can okay I'm not too sure when but uh, that's going to be um, Jason's Forest okay there'll be more Azzy Banger too and there'll be more um, um, Kai 
type cartoon and stuff too. Uh, but I'm just planning other martial arts orientated cartoons, much better stuff, okay, as well. So that's what's coming up first, okay. Uh, now, Halloween's in the year. Halloween's coming coming very soon, isn't it? And Oct- October 31st. I've been trying to get into watching some horror films and stuff too. I'm going to be making some short horror little mini movie clips and t- as well. I'm not too sure yet. Yeah, it's hard because you've got to do stuff in your free time, you know. And be- I've been fighting this flu and everything. Plus I wake up every morning and do some stretching and working out. And it's got to fit it all in, you know. But um, the thing is, that yeah, so, um, you know, um, oh, um, I'm planning more stuff, you know. I'm planning to do some more, like, I don't know, maybe some simple little rough cartoons. For I don't know, I'm not too sure, but I've had ideas for, like, Halloween or, like, for Christmas as well, you know. I'm inspired by things like Scrooge, you know, Christmas Carol and stuff like that. I love that, you know. But, um, yeah, that's what's going on. So, anyway, um, yeah, just just a little quick chat, okay, about my animation and projects, okay. So, you take care and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. If you want to see more of anything, like, philosophical talk videos on martial arts or anything just let me know as I say for those I just do them as I see fit you know the same with the punch bag videos or anything like that I don't film a lot of myself up working out and stuff all the time Um, I I should do more um, and not spread that because the exercise is so important but it's like you know in terms of like strength training and stuff too like I was trying to do like more push ups as you saw like some in- incline push ups I was doing because I'm not the strongest person for certain kinds of training weights I like to do some weights I, I don't really do calisthenics or anything like that you know but I've never been one into big bodybuilding like strength stuff and you know it's a shame because I, I can't even do that many push ups I'm <laughs> weak in some ways but I, I do those incline ones and I'm trying to like, build it up slowly you know I've got some weights which are a pretty good weight they're not super heavy but they're for me they're good and they're not light at all so I want to try and build my strength up with those weights you've got to do what feels fit for you and what you want to do you know so I'm going to do the weights do some weights and um, do some push ups where I see fit uh, fitting that in around my time free time because every morning every morning I do a full on stre- stretching workout you know top to bottom my whole body and just basic basic stretching and strength for the whole body but a lot of flexibility and I've always had like stronger legs as well and flexible legs so um whatever but I train my whole body you know <clears throat> it's definitely getting harder as I'm getting a bit older I'm 37 I'll be 37 next year and next month sorry in November but you know um yeah, um, you know, uh, martial arts wise, I'm not training everything that I used to train that like, so mo- regularly, like in you know, the wushu forms and stuff like that. You know, but it's like I still practice, as you've seen, like, a lot of martial arts because it's martial arts in my life, you know, and so the fitness training is also for my martial arts, you know, for my life, but also for my martial arts mainly. And it's like I do my Wing Chun, as you know, I love all the different kung fu and stuff I've learned in my life, kickboxing, karate, different styles of kung fu. And I'll go on the bag and just do some basic boxing when I do that too, you know. But yeah, um, um, I'll talk to you guys again very soon and I'll thank you very much for watching. Okay, just take care, be creative and love your life.